Welcome to the Circle of M. I am your host, Marcus Smith II. Got my co-host with me today. What's up? So, Cole, What's going obviously on? tapping in. It's our tap-in segment. We're going to try to bring you this every week. Don't forget, stop shacking up with us. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. We're trying to build this thing. We are trying to grow this thing so you can get content, so you can be healed. So, mm. first, we have to get healed. It's Mental Health Awareness Month. Mm. And this is what we're going to be talking about today. First, we always do a tap-in segment. Y'all know how we do. Mm -hmm. How are you doing, my brother? How are you doing, So Cold? What's the mood like? Um, what's your day been like today, week? Week so far. Um, first week of Mental Health Awareness Month. Uh, I feel gratitude in my heart. Mm. Um, I think that is an attitude that I want to continue to... Um, pour into myself mm. and share that with others um so I'm, I'm reflecting on a lot of things that i'm grateful for that's what's up man shoot i'm gonna I'm refer to this feelings well and you know i would say i'm in the i would say i'm in the happy medium um i'm very uh i'm you know i'm, I'm feeling cheerful okay content okay and uh you know, my father is here, so mm -hmm. that's always a blessing. You know how it is when mm -hmm. the OG is around mm -hmm. and, you know, my pops lives in uh, Columbus, Georgia. So him okay. being able to see his grandkids and nice being able to run around with them has been it's been truly an honor. Nice. Um, so, you know, there are different things going on right now mm -hmm. in the world. You know, there's uh, there was actually yesterday uh, was a. You know, mass, not a, I don't want to say a mass shooting, but it was a shooter in uh, Midtown Atlanta, wow. right? And so I wanted to talk a little bit about that today because um, as, as brown individuals, as we continue to see people get shot, as we continue to see these things happen, and this, this guy would look like us. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, he was young too? Yeah, I think... He might have been like 23, 24, something like that. I, I can look it up, but, yeah. um, you know, my my take on that is it still puts us in the mind of, I think, of suppression and hmm. depressed and not feeling like the world will get better. So mm -hmm. when we when things like this happen, when we have this in the world, like, what do you think? could help hmm. us kind of like get through these times you know what i'm saying when when people because people really don't think it could get better like we see so much on social social media and it seems like it's never anything positive what could we do in these moments bro i'm gonna be honest bro i be feeling i'm be one of those people that don't <laughs> i be like bro what is going on this yeah. don't feel like it's going to get better i'm nope. not um I'm not above those thoughts, but I think to answer your question, we need to just come together, right? Um, I think so So many times we often try to isolate ourselves and detach from, um, you know, each other. And so when I think when we, get, we get exposed when we do that, right? I know when I've done that before, when I've tried to isolate myself before, that's when I'm really most vulnerable. Um, and I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm off on an island somewhere figuratively. And mm -hmm. I'm, you know, I'm making myself more of a target and I don't have those, um, you know, in my corner to support me, to, mm -hmm. um, to watch my six, right? Or, you know, I'm just thinking that I can just be macho and do it all by myself. But I think what we need is actually to come together Yep. Um, and I think that it looks like this, right? It looks like having a safe space to come together where you can be vulnerable, where you can actually um, heal together, right? And so that's why these tapping sessions are so important. Bro, you just spoke something clean, bro. <laughs> I, and, and I, and you always dropping gems, everybody know that. Yeah. Um, but 
you know, God has been telling me one the one word that comes to mind is unity. Mm. And every time I'm trying to do something by myself, I'm trying to get stuff done. Oh, I don't need nobody. I could just do it on my own. Mm. That's when we fall. Mm. That's when we we get into a place where we we don't want to get because we're trying to handle it by ourselves. And we all know that, you know, doing stuff that way is not the answer yeah. and that's why i asked you to hey man man how you feel about coming on with me more times than not mm -hmm. because i can't we can't fight this this battle mm -hmm. alone you know what i'm saying there there was also uh you know things things are there is happening in the world man um it was an olympian who just Passed away, rest in peace. Yeah, but to her. did they name what happened? They didn't say. They didn't I say. Did. I saw that and that struck a chord. And then me. you know, uh Chris Smith. Chris rest Smith. in peace, uh Chris Smith, man. Um he passed away too. Uh he played in the league. He was actually playing sound. for uh XFL. He came out the same year as us. Okay, no, he that played that with sound. Arkansas. What position? Uh DN. That dude sound familiar. Yeah, bro. So if you um I played against him at Arkansas then. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. He so so um it's just it's just a lot of stuff going on right now that um mm -hmm. you know, I know this is mental health awareness month, but at the same time mental health is every month. Every day. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> every day, bro. It's 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 every it's every single day. It's it's truly it truly is every single day. Um, you know, what I what I really wanted to go into next um through our through our topics through what we continue to talk about mm -hmm. uh i wanted to dissect fear a little bit mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying that's mm -hmm. that's a, a topic that uh we continuously i feel like sometimes graze over sometimes a lot of times fear can cause us not to progress in life fear can paralyze you man Literally, is there a moment in your life? Let's 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 how let's much pick time, through. How much time you got? <laughs> yeah, let's pick through some times in your life where fear really showed his head. I'm gonna give you. I remember this was last year, right? And I'm on vacation. I'm in um, Sedona. I went to a national park in Arizona, mm -hmm. and I'm on a hike. Okay. And I'm gonna paint this picture. I'm on a hike. It's a sunny day, you know, beautiful weather. Um, and then we get to the part of the trail where there's like a, a water hole, and then there's a cliff you can jump off. People were like jumping off this cliff into the, to the water hole, right? Mm -hmm. And there was a lot of people there. And I got to a point where I'm climbing up the cliff, and I get to a point where I'm like, yeah, I gotta jump to this next. Um, I gotta jump over the water to get to this next like cliff. So you gotta. So I could jump from a higher spot, oh. right? So now, like, I really start to feel my legs not move. Like oh, I felt man. paralyzed, and I'm just like, damn, come on, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I sat down. <laughs> I was yeah. like, you know, yeah, acting like, act, yeah, it. act like it's not bothering me, but it's really like heavy on me like i felt like my like shaking oh no nah. right and i felt the fear start to take over my body yeah then all of a sudden a butterfly came out of nowhere oh. and just landed on my foot <laughs> and stayed there and i was just like wow and i just had to realize like dang like when i see butterflies when i see you know hummingbirds or even mm -hmm. bees for that matter like i i interpret them as you know my ancestors my angels mm -hmm. um my spirit guys coming to comfort me in a time where i in this realm feel overwhelmed or anxiety or you know fear mm -hmm. and the fact that that butterfly just landed on my foot and stayed there for a hot second calmed that gave you peace that man. gave me some internal peace bro yeah. it was a beautiful butterfly it was mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so that was just a small example of yeah. like you know how i've experienced fear and that wasn't even like a traumatic like experience yeah. that i was in yeah it was just a regular day-to-day -day situation that's a crazy that's that's i have a similar story too that's mm. crazy but 
um, oftentimes we run away from fear. We run away. But if we if we keep running, we won't reach our purpose. We won't reach our mm -hmm. destiny. A lot of times, um, fear is attached to uh, what we want in life, and sometimes we're scared of what the outcome may be. We're scared to quote unquote fail. You know, we're scared to go through something. But if we just go through it, no matter what happens, it'll be better on the other side, and you'll be pleased with yourself because you actually tried and you actually actually did that. And I have a story mm. of when I was, um, I probably was about 10 or 11, mm. and I was in Tennessee. And I, I go to Tennessee with all my cousins, my people was there from Tennessee. And at the pool, they had this high dive. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of similar mm -hmm. to yours. I'm talking about mm -hmm. the, the highest of the height. Mm -hmm. And you know, my, my, my thought process looking at it, I'm like, oh yeah, that's crazy. That'd yeah. be fun. As soon as I up get up there, <laughs> I'm up there. I'm Until like, you get up there. Oh no. Nah. Yeah, it's view then, up here. But different. then the crazy part about it is, I didn't want to go back down the other no, way no, either because no. it was too. That was too high too. And I remember something um, that I was watching, something that Will Smith had said, and it's true. You know, greatness lives on the other side of fear. Mm -hmm. It really does. Because once, it took me like an hour. To jump? Like, the people were was at waiting. the bottom. It was like, you got to jump. And I was so scared. Like, I was just up there. Like, I ain't doing it. Yeah. I ain't doing it. And it took me an hour to jump. But, man, when I jumped. I felt free. Man, what? Yeah. I felt like I liberated I felt a liberated bro it was just it was just a great feeling and mm -hmm. I remember that moment and after that moment you couldn't get me off of it mm. like adrenaline bro like yeah. I'm oh yeah I'm going to do that again Boom. Yeah. going to do that again going to do that I was, that's all I was Special doing I wasn't even swimming with nobody else I was just jumping off the, the high dive at 11 <laughs> yeah bro like and that's the important thing about fear when you when you hear Mm. Uh, stories and you hear different things that has happened in our lives like it's fear is always going to show its head and we have to understand that fear is not of God mm. God doesn't give you the, the spirit, spirit of, fear. of fear come on you know what I'm saying come on, talk, he, to him. Hey, <laughs> talk to him he, he doesn't he doesn't give you the spirit of fear it it's it's something that the enemy puts inside of you that restrains you that Put you in a place where you feel like you're in cement. I've always, stuck. I've always heard the acronym broken down. You familiar with it for mm. fear? Mm. False evidence appearing Ooh. real. Uh -huh, let's go. Let's so go, let's go. when that was broken down to me, um, it helped you know with my perspective on how I internalized mm. the word fear mm -hmm. or the feeling of fear. Right, and allow me to assess the situation, observe the situation, become a witness to it. And am I, is this, you know, situation, like, is this something that is appearing? Like, how am I internalizing this? You know what I'm saying? A great, so, that's a great. So just breaking that down and like, yo, yeah. is this true for me? Right. right? Yeah. That's something your wife asked me. You know, when we were talking, you know, last week, she was like, is this true for you? Right. Right. Same yeah. same concept. Like, you know, it, you might be experiencing that, but ask yourself, is this true for you? Mm. You know what I'm saying? So that's um, that's another thing when it comes to fear. It's OK if you um, experience it, but just know that at the end of the day, it's really false because you said it's not coming from the spirit of God. Yeah. Cause he 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 gives you power, love, love, and a sound mind, man. So when we have those, when you have those thoughts, and you you you're having fear, you're you're having anxiety, mm -hmm. you're in a way of what you call in your own head. Mm -hmm. Just remember what Soul Cold just said. Is it false apparent, false yeah. evidence appearing real? Yeah. No, that's that's real. And that's what happened, like, so, you know, going back to my story with the butterfly, like, the butterfly flew away, 
I actually, you know, made the jump off the cliff and got to the higher cliff, and then I was like, you know what, we're here now. Mm. We're here now. Like, you know what I'm saying? Let's let's go be free. Let's go fly. Let's be liberated. You know what I'm saying? And that's oftentimes, just in life in general, when you step out on faith and mm. you push forward. That's literally what it was, stepping out on faith. Man, that's it. That's it. That's, man, a lot, like, our blessings are tied to us stepping out on faith mm. that's a mental, whole nother mental health yeah that's a whole nother podcast Bro. <laughs> mental health awareness month is definitely key for me i'm glad they, they're actually you know showing it giving giving it some give, giving it some, some of its flowers mm. um mm -hmm. do you have anything planned do you you know um so i do have a couple events you know, coming up this month that I'm excited to be a part of that align with Mental Health Awareness Month. Um, the first one is the Black Student Athlete Summit, which will be hosted in LA on the campus cool. of USC. I got an opportunity to speak to, you know, all the attendees on on mindfulness, mm, right? Let's go. And the importance of the mind-body connection, especially as athletes, right? And yep. have access to information like this while they're still in college. That's something I wish, that's something you wish mm -hmm. you had access to. Mm -hmm. um, and then following up that um, that same, later that same week, you and I both will have the opportunity to, to speak at uh, NAMICON, the National Alliance of Mental Illness, yep. at their conference in Minneapolis. So. Um, so we're looking forward to that. Um, and then, you know, any other engagements that come up in, in the meantime, you know, obviously you and I will continue to tap in in these yeah, sessions. Yeah. Um, and I think that's extremely important. Yeah, man. It's, it's definitely important. And tap in, yeah, whoever's watching this, man. You know, make sure you're tapping in with your loved ones, you're tapping in with your people. Mm -hmm. You know, ask the question, you know, how are you doing? I, you know, I asked Soul Cole, mm -hmm. how are you doing on a scale of 1 to 10? What's, mm -hmm. you know, what what is your scale? You'd be surprised how many people answer that question uh, and rate themselves on how they're feeling. So you can get a gauge on how they're feeling. And I think, um, t you know, I know we're getting ready to close out, but I think another question mm -hmm. that I've found helpful when people ask me, and when I've asked other people, how is your heart? Mm. And that's actually, I was gonna ask the question, like, you know, so Cole, you trying to drop a gem on us today? And this is a gem right here, so. How is your heart, right? Mm -hmm. Ask yourself, how is your heart? When you look in the mirror and then ask your loved ones, ask your inner circle, how was your heart, right? So that gets them out of, that gets you out of the habit of saying the program answer, I'm good, I'm fine, mm -hmm. I'm highly flavored and blessed, right? Like yeah. that gets you out of that programming so you really can look in um, within yourself and check in with your heart. So mentally, mentally for this month, we wrapping it up. Make sure y'all go subscribe to our tap ins. We want y'all to feel the vibe, feel feel what we're talking about, feeling the things that we're talking about. Uh, one thing that you know you could tell the viewers on something that they can do to help their mental health uh, for this month. So it's you know it being Mental Health Month. One thing that they can do to help themselves. With I started their it. I started it um, at the beginning of the session. So I'm gonna bring it back to the end of the session. Is a practice of gratitude daily. Mm -hmm. That's something that I've been practicing since 2019. It's a challenge that I'm, you know, doing on TikTok right now. So everyday gratitude challenge, right? We name one thing that you're grateful for every day for this whole month mm. and just watch and you keep track of that. Whether you write it down in your notebook, whether you write it down on your phone, keep track of it. However you keep track of it, just name one thing. It's not about perfection. It's about consistency, mm. having an attitude of gratitude daily. Wow, and, and for me, um, look, I know a lot of y'all probably have Apple Watches. Mm. The Apple Watch has a mindfulness um, thing or app on there, mm. right? And it, it'll come up on your watch. This is something that I learned from Soul Cold too as well. Take five minutes out of your day, practice mindfulness. Sometimes that's just sitting mm. 
and being silent, mm. being quiet, trying to quiet your mind and just trying to be present, right? Mm -hmm. Being present in the moment. So that's what I would say. Try to practice that in, in these moments. So, um, you know, a lot of times we get all over the place and we don't really understand or, or know how far that can take us if we don't just sit ourselves down and be with ourselves, right? Mm -hmm. Be with oneself. Mm -hmm. So that's what I would. That's what I would say. I, that's the gem that I would drop in. That's um, a beautiful gem, man. <laughs> appreciate that. Yeah. But again, like we're we're tapping in. These are segments. So we'll we'll continue to tap in. Um, you know, make sure you write. You know what you would want to see in the comments, and uh, uh, we'll definitely bring you something else next week. It's the circle of them. My guy, Soul Cole. It's a great show. We are out. Bye bye. Oh.